Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Well, today was, um, well, today was something, right? Today was definitely something. Um, it, it's so amazing. And, and the, the one thing I, I constantly go over and kind of drill it into uh, new traders like over and over again, um, and that's the idea that you don't need to know everything at once, okay? Uh, time is your best teacher, right? Experience is the difference between somebody that's doing this for 20 years and somebody who's doing this for 20 weeks, okay? You're not going to understand. You're not supposed to understand everything, okay? But the most important part of any process, right? And obviously, I trade a very specific way uh, through these channels is I, I talk about patience. Again, everybody uses the word patience but again, most of the people, they don't know what they are waiting for. And that's a, it's a, it's a very, very important part of being in control of your trading. And, you know, for this whole week, we've had some good opportunity. Okay. We've had some really good opportunity. But again, if you've been watching this video kind of over and over again, you, you kind of see me talking about the lack of a mass appeal of this market because most of the channels have been getting contracted. Again, you catch Netflix here, you catch Tesla here. Roku this way here, you know, throughout the week, that's fine. You know, you wait for your spots, you, you pick and choose. But the most important part that I, you know, and especially we, here's the most ironic part. This morning at Morning Strategy, I, I, I almost had a light of fire under the ass of some traders because the last thing you want to do as a trader is complain about market sentiment, okay? The channels are contracting, it sucks. We're not getting the big three, four, five dollar moves. It sucks. I can't, I wish I was taller. I wish I was smarter. Again, you can't control things that are out of your control. It's just the reality. But what you can control is your ability to stay solvent until you have very, very clear path to the goal line. I think that's a very, very important part of what we do as professional traders. I don't care if you're trading for two weeks or 20 weeks or 20 years. It's very, very important to stay in control by focusing on things that are in your control instead of wishing and hoping for things that you can't, okay? And the most important part about today was that it's so ironic how you can make a plan, okay? You can have a very, very good plan. You do your research and all that good stuff. Because last night, again, if you guys watched the video last night, um, you know, we talked about semiconductors, right? We talked about the SMHs. We talked about uh, the value in the group because it looks like they were about to break out. And when you woke up this morning, okay, the first thing you saw was a week of market, right? A week or tape. Uh, all the semiconductors were down. They were all down across the board. And I said, wow, this kind of sucks because number one, this was the only group that was going to give us really good potential. Because again, how much do you really want to continue to chase Tesla? You know, it was good yesterday, the day before, the day before that, the day before that. Nine days in a row, the stock's up $60. I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, how much more do you want to squeeze out of this trade? Again, it's not that saying it can't go higher. It's just to say there's value in better places, safer places, places that you can control the risk. And the most amazing part, we talked, we, you know, we were talking about morning strategy, how, number one, I didn't believe that this whole tariff thing um, was going to take place on the 15th. I just didn't think I, I think, I think the White House has a knack, a really, really great knack of just when you think things are about to go off the deep edge, they kind of pull you off the cliff and then they get, get things all a lot better. And today was a prime example of not playing things or watching things that were out of our focus. Uh, here's a perfect example today, how your plan you need to give your plan, your course of action, the benefit of the doubt, okay? It doesn't make a difference how the market opens. You want to see the market kind of tell you you're wrong to look at other places. And again, here's the most amazing part that we were waiting for the expansion day. And today, the market just expanded times 100, okay? Uh, the White House, again, saved the day. Uh, the semiconductors woke up. 
and the candles that they put in were some of the more most aggressive candles I can remember. Again, remember, guys, remember this. And again, this was the you know these were the pivots, right? These were the pivots at the open. Uh, and again, you can see Nvidia and Clack and Texan and Qualcomm, right? These were the pivots. And we'll talk about Roku in a second. Roku had a really, really uh, had a really good solid short on Roku on on the way down. Um, but it was all it was all semis, right? It was all semiconductors, for the exception of Netflix, uh, Roku, and Shop. That you know, and Shop never confirmed. We'll talk about that in a second. But it was all. I mean, the value was literally all semiconductors. And the most important part was, if you're an adult and these things didn't confirm, you were out of pocket today. Again, you know, I'm not going to start chasing some twenty dollars stocks and two dollars stock. Who cares about these things? It's not what I do, and, and I'm okay with that. I am, I am okay of missing out things I'm not comfortable with. So today was actually incredibly important that not only did the White House kind of save the day, but they saved it in the most majestic way. And again, when you look at a stock like a Texas Instruments or a Clack, right, um, or a Qualcomm, they, they don't put up $3 candles. They don't put up $5. They just don't do it. I mean, the video, you'll, you know, in the video you'll see that once in a while. You know, but they will not do that. And what we saw today uh, off the open was absolutely amazing. And again, the one thing that you can't do, you can't catch everything, right? Out of all the things here, again, the one I was concentrating on the video. So I caught in the video. Um, so that's the one thing when you're a trader and you say to yourself, okay, I like the semis. You don't expect them to all go at the same time, right? You, you, there's no way. There's no way mentally you can catch Qualcomm, Clack, Texas Instruments, NVIDIA, Everything at once. You'd have to be a superhuman. You have to be super, you know, just a superhuman being. Okay, to, to, you know, you're a better human being than I am. You can't do it. But again, the most important part is track the stocks that you want to trade. Okay, track the names that you feel comfortable with, and then put them on with with extreme prejudice when they confirm technically, not the way you hope they confirm. They, they confirm technically, and again. Uh, at the open, it was just out of control. Uh, I traded NVIDIA. I mean, NVIDIA went nuts. I mean, NVIDIA went absolutely nuts today. Um, I thought it had a shot at 220, right? You know, here's the, you know, here's the, the 1780, right? Here's the uh, 21790, 218 needs to build. Here's a sneaky pivot right here. Here's the sneaky pivot on NVIDIA. If you look at the two candles here, right? I wasn't buying it up here. Here, here's the area right here. 21789 was the high here. 21780 was the high here. And again, we talk about uh, needs to you know needs to build above 21790 218 just exploded i i thought it was going to stop at 220 right i thought it was going to stop at 220 right here with this bollinger band it wasn't even there it's like it wasn't even there right it just wasn't even there and just put on this baby making candle and just absolutely exploded i mean this just went absolutely nuts just r ridiculous absolutely ridiculous uh shop trade to the 376 level Never presented a second entry. Obviously, it needs to build. I still like it for tomorrow. Again, clock, 67.50 needs to build. Again, when was the last time, okay, when was the last time you saw a clock, okay, you saw a clock. And let me show you on a five-minute channel just exa exactly how egregious, just crazy it was. Here was a 67.50, right? When was the last time you saw a clock putting up a $5 candle? Ridiculous. Absolutely Ridiculous. Uh, Texas Instruments. I know a lot of you guys caught Texas Instruments. Uh, 12390, 124. Uh, Texas was actually one of the first ones to wake up, right? Here was the 2390. Here was the 2390. The daily chart said that 24. We talked about this last night in the video. 124 went to almost one, you know, 127. I mean, again, three dollar candle on Texas Instruments. It's it's like it's like catching a twenty five dollar candle on Amazon. It's just you don't see that every day. Just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, again. Uh, Netflix never obviously confirmed to 292. Uh, Qualcomm 80 again 8720. Again, when was the last time you saw Qualcomm uh, put up this ridiculous candle? I mean, just this just an absolute ridiculous candle. Here was the 8720, and the stock went to like 89 and change. Again, crazy, just absolutely crazy. Uh, here is a massive move in Roku, guys. Congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught Roku? Uh, the daily chart was 143. Okay, I, I was watching Roku for the last three days. It just wouldn't rally. Okay, it just kind of sat there in this in this ugly little channel. Every time you, you know, and we actually even talked about Roku for the last several days, and we said, "Hey, every single time it looks like it wanted to, uh, you know, go lower, it went higher, and every time it looked it wanted to go higher, it went lower." And we talked about this 43 level, and the reason why I put, if you notice here, I put 
142.60 if it builds below can flush. There was uh, a, a lower Bollinger Band there that it needed to hold and needed to break. So if all you guys are trading on the Twitter feed, I didn't want to have you guys at 143, go down at 42.60, have it rally right back in your face, and then go. That's why I put 42.60 uh, as the pivot. But again, if you look at the daily chart, again, if you look at the low for the last four days, right, 143.13, and it confirmed. And I said there was a puncher shot. It could get there to the 38s, 39s, which was the 50-day. And once it got below that, okay, once it got below that, um, I said there was a puncher shot at 36. And if you look at the low, uh, it was 36.80. So I caught this thing pretty well. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. So you had this crazy move. So I caught in the video, caught Roku. Again, there's no way you could have caught everything in between. It's just, again, you would have to be an algorithm on steroids, just an absolute move. Uh, again, you can see it, 42.60, puncher shot at 139, and then I kept on tweeting. I said, hey, you know, this damn thing can can go to 46. And, got, and again, ridiculous. It's just, again, that's the, that's the best way to describe today's day. And you usually don't see that every day. Um, but again, ridiculous moves. My, like, my God, like what the hell just happened? And it, it really does show if you are... Uh, if you are patient and you're waiting and you're really willing to commit to technical analysis and whatever process you trade, usually good things are going to happen. And today was a, a prime example of it. So, you know, going into uh, going into tomorrow's session, uh, I mean, again, you got to be bullish, right? I mean, you got to buy, you got to be bullish. Uh, there's still a bunch of semiconductors uh, that look like they, they could go higher. AMD, I mean, again, again, when was the last time? Outside of earnings, when was the last time you saw AMD put up a three dollar channel? Right, just absolutely nuts. Uh, semiconductors just going, just going ape, just absolutely ape. Ironically, there was a lot of weak, uh, weak names today. You know, Netflix was red. Uh, Netflix was red. Roku was red. Facebook had that FTC news uh, that we saw really, really early. I know a lot of you guys. I know Jeremy caught the puts, the one ninety five puts, very, very aggressively. Again, here's the measured move to ninety four fifty. Um, BYND was red. Boeing was red, square was barely green. So yeah, you still had a lot of weakness, right? Uh, you still had, I mean, I mean, Amazon up 11 on a day like this. I mean, that's kind of weak, but maybe, you know, maybe it wakes up in the next couple of days. But again, it's very, very important. Put in the research night before, um, have an opinion and wait for it to play out. So that's very, very important. So uh, going into tomorrow, again, last day of the week, um, you know, I, I, you gotta buy, you know, look, any dip in semis, you gotta be a buyer of semis. Uh, AMD looks good. Uh, LRCX still looks good. Um, you know, they look good. Adaptech is Adaptech a, uh, a semi? No, Adaptech is not a semiconductor. Um, so let me give you guys some names, uh, that I do like for tomorrow. Um, Goldman, Goldman Sachs looks great. Goldman Sachs looks great. This is the highest close in the whole, whole formation. Uh, if Goldman can start reclaiming, uh, 227. Here's your kind of your measure potential. Uh, 227. Here's the weekly chart. Uh, should get to about 230. Uh, any close above 230 on Goldman Sachs has a lot of room up into the 250. So uh, it might be a multiple uh, day scenario. And again, one of the things you could do uh, if it gives you weakness, look at the 60 minute view and try to try to find an area of support that you can buy. Uh, Goldman off the 60 minute view, but again, needs to reclaim uh, that 227 level. Uh, AMD, big breakout today. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.